pleasure to me all at last, and welcome back to What's GWK Facecam Specials Insurgents, The Enlightening oh, Venture, so and oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh that's not good at all. Well anyways, What's this is happening? Dying Light, again. So basically speaking, you've probably already checked out another episode of Facecam Specials Insurgents where... I played this game, and well, this is pretty much what it is. This is Dying Light 1, and like I've said before, I'm not playing Dying Light 2, specifically for the reason being that Techland and Square Enix had teased us with the release date of December 31st, 2020, and then they pushed it back a full flippin' year. Yeah, I'm probably never gonna let something like that go, because that's like Raheem, the, the epitome of trolling, like total misleading. Most likely no. Stuff like that, I mean. At least not yet. It's just a big disappointment to me. Infected. A big letdown. Zerado, in my heart, out, so. Probably give you a shot of I don't really know what else to say about Zerado, that. Talk to the well, anyways, here, the first game itself, I'm going to be very honest with you. It's probably, well, pretty good if you look at it in most ways. I can really anticipate some good survival horror based elements, and I'm also going to see a lot of great action. And a pretty grisly story, in a way. But right now, I'm seeing a lot of resemblance to a lot of other... Well, oh, I keep having hiccups, sorry. But, again, I'm kind of seeing a lot of, well, resemblance to a lot of other stories that have taken place. A lot of other franchises seem to have similar survival horror elements. Action, drama, satire, and all that good stuff. So, I can kind of anticipate that the same caliber or level of horror, excitement, and all that good stuff is pretty much being used in this instance. So, then again, I can't really blame them because, after all, the guys in Techland and also Square Enix were pretty much putting together something that they wanted to call their own masterpiece. But out of all games that I've known from Techland, and there aren't too many of them that I could name right now, but this one right here does seem to hold up. It does seem to hold its own pretty well. I'm seeing a lot of good merits from it. At the same time, well, I've already mentioned a lot. So, first of all, okay, the story itself basically involves a guy who was sent here by the name of Kyle Crane to basically look for something here in this city which I'm in right now and well upon doing so Crane ends up getting in the way of a zombie outbreak that had happened because of something that might have happened back then so of course I don't necessarily remember too much because well like I've said before I'm not entirely familiar with this because, well, this is almost too new for me. And, well, I've seen a lot of franchises out there that I can easily remember pretty well. Resident Evil, Red Dead Redemption, Dead Rising, and even Left 4 Dead, even though that's been kind of dormant for the past several years. But, again, I can't blame anybody for, well, not necessarily, well thinking that I'm missing out on a lot of stuff here, but that's only because there's only so many caves that I can keep some good details on in my mind, and I am saying right now that's because I actually played this throughout February up until, like, the first week of March. It's, like, at least 12 days, pretty much, that I've managed to, wow, get through to play as much of this as possible. So... The original Dying Light story, plus the following, and well, probably some extras that you'll probably be seeing throughout the next, like, few years, in a way. So, if that's a good start, then well, that's pretty much what it is. But, so far, here with Dying Light 1, out of all survival horror games right here, I could probably anticipate a lot of new elements here. Other than the similarities of it bearing the resemblance to most other survival horror franchises out there like Dead Rising, Resident Evil, and all that good stuff. It's basically one of those types, basically. So, I'm currently starting off with, well, looks like a pipe with a knob at the end of it. 
Attempting to take down zombies and okay. I ran out of stamina, so looks like I gotta wait for that to fill back up. Okay, there it goes. Now I gotta swing at them again. Try to crush them. And they just keep on coming. What the heck is going on here? Bam. Yeah, okay. I don't know why they keep Oh my gosh. He probably would have latched on to me and bitten my head. Like, I don't even know. Also, the weapons get damaged pretty easily here for some odd reason. Maybe because I'm starting with one of the weakest weapons ever. It's kind of fair, really. Because, well, you gotta start with something. But I'm more than sure that you gotta find stronger weapons at some point. Because it looks like this one's barely getting any good effect on the zombies. And, okay, yeah, see, look. And look at how many hits it's taken for me just to kill a few of them. Like, that's just strange. Normally, if someone were to get hit in the head very hard with a metal pipe, they'd probably be skull crunched. Yeah, I mean, probably number crunched as well, considering how many of them I'm actually fighting against. But it looks like I have to keep waiting for my stamina bar to come back up. Like, is there any way to, like, fill your stamina back up and can I eat something? I don't really know. Maybe it's because it's going to be very hard for me to go find some different foods out here in the event of an apocalyptic situation like this. But then again, I mean, this is just another one of those cases where you really have to learn to fight for yourself in a fictional town like this, and more importantly, as a fictional person. But it gives you that feeling that you're actually out there in the environment fighting against these anomalies that are trying to kill you. So I can more, I can more or less understand the whole concept of how Techland was basically wanting to bring to the public based on something like this, but basically speaking, something like this, I can't necessarily say that this is probably like as good of a game as many others out there because, again, I'm not entirely familiar with the series of Dying Light itself. I'm not necessarily as connected to companies like Techland, but I am pretty familiar with Square Enix's games. I have, after all, played Kingdom Hearts, Final Fantasy, and all three of the new Tomb Raider games. Yeah, that's right. Apparently, I played all three of the new Tomb Raider games by Square Enix on PS4, so that's kind of a good baseline here. That just shows that I'm very familiar with Square Enix and its specialized touch that it tends to bring out to a lot of franchises out there and also the fact that they've had franchises like Final Fantasy and Kingdom Hearts out for at least 15 to 20 years by now and also because they now have full ownership of the Tomb Raider franchise and they're pretty much the ones that are making the new Tomb Raider games so I can more or less understand that somehow a new concept is probably going to have to be underway. It's kind of like when Naughty Dog basically went from things like Crash Bandicoot and Uncharted, franchises that I'm totally, you know, familiar with, because I have in fact played them when I was a kid, and even to this day I have actually gone ahead to revisit these franchises pretty much with some more recent ports of either of these franchises. It's kind of like when that happened, and then all of a sudden, Naughty Dog came out with another title out there called The Last of Us. And I can understand that that was a while ago, pretty much, but the thing is, I didn't really know that The Last of Us was something that apparently exists in the gaming universe until the sequel came out in June 2020, The Last of Us Part Two. That was one of the only reasons why... I finally found out what the franchise was, and it was also how I got to know about it. But you know what? I'm kind of just going a little too far right here. So you know what? I'm just going to leave it as it is, and I'm going to let you guys go for a little bit. That is until the